Okay, uh, I'm going to show you a way in which you can create melodic toms for uh, dance styles, that kind of stuff, in Studio One. And uh, it's actually a lot more simple than you think it might be. But that said, if anybody finds a quicker and easier way to do this, then by all means, please do let me know and send me a video. And I would like to learn that because it, I, it will be tremendously helpful. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to have an instance of impact and an instance of sample one. Get rid of that. Uh, and you need to have them available. You need to have a MIDI controller keyboard to do this as well. Uh, if you've got one of those, you're good to go. So the first thing I've done is I've um, got a, a drum kit in here. This is the Tom Brechtlin uh, drums. Uh, I really like this drum set and there's some nice toms. So I think I'm gonna use this one here. Use that tom and uh, that's going to be the basis of what we do here. So let's just close that. And what we're going to do is we're going to record. And it's this sound we want. Perfect. Okay, so now that I've got my sound, uh, I'm just going to um, tidy it up just a little bit. I'm going to move this so that it's right on the nose. Oh, it practically is right on the nose. That's very good. So let's just um, drag it so it's right on the beat. There we go. Perfect. Let's close that. Um, I'll just make it that long. Okay, so we move that to the start. Now that we've done that, we go to the track itself. We right click and we go transform to audio track. And in this dialog box, I am going to check render all channels. You don't have to, but in this case, <clears throat> excuse me, in this case, I'm going to, and I'm going to keep a tail just in case there's any reverb built in to uh, this instrument and uh, also just to allow the tom to have its fullest decay possible. You can adjust it as you want in sample one. So let's OK that. It does its thing. And there's our sound. <clears throat> excuse me, I have a lot of phlegm at the moment. Sorry about that. And so now that we've got our sound, and here it is on this particular channel here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up sample one, and I'll make sure that I'm on the wave tab. And I've already gone ahead and tested this, as you can see, but just to be fair, I'm going to remove what I've already recorded when I was testing it to see that this does actually work, and it does, by the way. So um, what you do next is you grab the um, the wave here and you just drag it into here and that clearly didn't work come on there we go so uh, now that I've got the wave in here I then just go to mapping and as you can see it automatically has mapped right across the keyboard which is perfect that's what we want so now I can close this and I can record enable the sample one track and I can go ahead and click that, hold shift and click that one and mute all the other channels. I can go back to my sample one and I can actually record any melodic kind of ideas that I might want to do with this particular tom sound because now as you can see it's mapped right across my keyboard which is perfect. So let's uh, let's put something in here. Hang on. And you could hear my chair squeak all the way through that. <laughs> so let's uh, turn that off and let's have a listen to it. Let's turn the metronome off as well. Now, if you don't like the way that it's, it's kind of uh, cutting off a little bit in sample one, you can adjust the length of this um, very, very easily. Uh, that's no problem to do that. So there you go. Melodic toms using impact and sample one. And then if you really like what you've done, you can just follow suit here like we did before. And you can uh, transform that to audio track. 
uh, if you want to commit to that so you don't have the instrument taking up CPU. Okay, so there we go. That is how we do that. I hope you found this useful and helpful, and if you have, please do let me know. Cheers.